go. Hello, this is Michael Williams here, and I'm here with Dr. Venke. Uh, thank you, doctor, for joining me today. Um, Dr. Venke is an eye surgeon or an ophthalmologist. I hope I said that correct. Yeah, that's right, Michael. Well done. Okay. Um, so I want, first want to thank you for being willing to do this. As I say in lots of my videos, there are lots of clients that I have that you guys don't see who don't want to do these videos, and I understand that. So I'm always thankful for people that are willing to come on and share a little bit of their experience. And what we also said that we'll do is we'll get back together in another six months because we want people to know that this isn't just something that's short term, but something that lasts longer term. So thanks once again. Um, My pleasure. The first thing that we want to talk about is what were you struggling with before Pro 90 d how was life for you? What were the things you're struggling with? What made you kind of search, seek, and find me? Yeah, sure. So interesting in the sense that um, although I was able to function, so I was, you know, went through school, you know, um, went through medical school, Oxford, went through my training as a doctor, you know, as an eye surgeon. So so although I was able to do those things, it was pretty much you know, a constant struggle. So in the sense that my speech was uh, quite disfluent, you know, I used to block quite a lot. And, and the way I would um, get around that is with lots of ums and ahs and, and that to sort of help that, you know, the airflow effectively, really. So mm. although I was able to to do the things that needed to be done it was certainly a lot harder than than you know most people mm. and you know it was just a sort of a constant struggle that constant feeling that look you know am i going to be okay with this is, is, is it going to how much is it going to take out of me every time you enter a sort of new phase of your life i don't going from school to med school to starting a job to a new job to this and that you're always feeling or an interview you're thinking, look, is this going to be the hurdle that's going to be too great to um, overcome? So, but, you know, I think as people, you know, we can be um, quite resilient. We, we find ways of getting through that, either through your own determination, family support or, you know, whatever. So, but, so I just felt like, I, I just thought that there was perhaps a, a different way. I mean, I, you know, you hear about people who have overcome their, their speech difficulties. And I just felt that also now we, we you know, are married, we have you know, small children. I, I just wanted to be able to uh, convey and speak in, in a slightly clearer way, uh, perhaps for, for the family, my children, and also just to, you know, perhaps help the career as well in the sense that, I mean, I've achieved things I wanted to do, but... Mm -hmm there's you know um, um surviving and doing it and there's you know really thriving so you know why not really so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what made you choose me i mean when people go out on the internet yeah. you can find uh, lots of different programs there are some higher profile ones there's one here in the states that's 12 days that people yeah. go to there's another one um I forgot the name of it, but it's pretty famous. That's been around for a long time. There's yeah. a lady that does one uh, that's three days that costs two, at least twice what I yeah. charge, and it's three days. Um, and then there's lots of other speech therapists and yeah. you know, lots of other people. What made you choose yeah. this? Yes, uh, fair question. So actually, just before I came to you, I was literally on the verge of um, signing up for a course in in the uk you know it was a sort of three-day thing and i the, the problem with the courses that i looked at and, and the ones that i'm sure people have heard of is it's sort of um the emphasis on how to well it seemed to me the emphasis was on sort of how to um, um stop stammering okay it's how to stop something whereas with you it was in some ways the stammering or the stuttering was almost uh, secondary it was about learning a sort of new way of speaking or a, you know, sort of, um, I don't know how you call it now, but, you know, a sort of excellent way of speaking effectively. So 
that mm-hmm. that mind shift was important to me because and i i think that um the sort of positive reinforcement of you know so going towards something like improving your speech for me seemed more you know um, sensible more uh, logical way of doing it than trying to stop something from happening so it, it was the, that focus and that emphasis on on that and anyway so i, I just randomly came across your video when I was searching other types of treatments and you know instantly I, I just the things we're talking about the, the, the books you referenced to the, the combination of you know um, psychology uh, you know uh, some neuroscience and those things it, it just made sense to me and I, you know I've done quite a, quite, a, quite a lot of reading in, in those areas as well so you know it, it just made sense to me really and the fact that you yourself also had the same issue and obviously have, you know, come a long, long way with that. Mm. It, it just seemed a, a good system. And um, in fact, I remember I, I started looking at it on the Tuesday and the Wednesday I emailed you. And we had our first interview that Friday, so that's two days later, you know, and um, signed up pretty straight away. So, I mean, Fortunately, my training in, in medicine and science, you know, it's, a lot of it is evidence-based. A lot of it is about looking at the data, looking at that. And, yeah, so I, I felt happy that uh, this is a, um, you know, it's a good way for um, me to try and improve this, really. So, yeah. yeah. I really appreciate that, and I'm so glad you said that because, um, you know, I'm, we're actually getting more and more doctors who are kind of – I have a doctor that I'm working with right now in South Africa, and he's like a mm. fetal specialist. Okay. And this guy is brilliant. Mm. And um, he said some of the same things about this process. And there are lots of people out there who kind of get fooled into, again, these three-day programs. And, you know, we're going to cure, we're going to get rid of, or, and we're going to teach you, and you're going to learn. Um, so I'm so glad that you said that as a doctor, that you are looking for something that's kind of scientifically based where mm. you know, even though I don't have studies, but I use the science that's out yeah. there and it just, it just makes sense that this yeah. works this way. Yeah. You experience the fact that it really does yeah. work this way. And also the other thing that as well, because I, I have, I have a, a quite a sporting background. So I, I play sport to a high level actually. And, you know, a lot of the principles you talk about in terms of, you know, practice, you know, technique, affirmation, these sorts of things, you know, you, you can apply them. In fact, the course has been good anyway, because I've been able to apply these principles to other areas of my life as well. So it, it's almost a, you know, sort of framework for, you know, success. And what the, you know, particular thing we're looking at here is speech, really. So, you know, and you're also honest about, look, a lot of it is just practice, hard work, and you're going to keep doing it, you know, having your sort of daily program, daily regime, and, you know, you, you've got to do it pretty much every day. And even, you know, it takes time, as you say, it takes eight months, 12 months, whatever. But the, the key thing you said to me as well was, you know, that time is passing anyway. So that, that time is going to pass. Right. And you're going to struggle anyway. So you might as well do something which... Is going to give you the chance of that. So I think that's probably the, the key thing. I think, yeah. So exactly. So, you know, some people think, oh, eight months or three months, twelve months. I got to wait for that long before. No, you don't have to wait for that long. You're going to see progress, often almost immediately, right? Yeah. You're going to see progress, and it just continues. And as you said, that time is going to pass anyway. So yeah. why not see progress? Yeah. A transformation in your speech and your life. While that time is passing anyway, rather than jumping around the different yeah, things. That's definitely true. I'd say my two main things were just being a, just more clearer with my children. I've got young children. And that happened, you know, no joke, within the first sort of two, two, two weeks or so, I'd say, okay, in the sense that I just got that fluency with them, uh, using the techniques. So with, with, with my, you know, with children and also with my patients, I just felt that I was, I was at a, high level you know inside that first month you know absolutely without a doubt um but then everyone will find there are certain areas either socially with some friends or maybe a certain presentation or if you're caught off a little bit off guard with a comment here and there with something so you know i think people will be able to 
achieve what they want to achieve most of the time quite early on. But right. you know, uh, why stop there? We're looking to be sort of, um, you know, sort of top, top speakers, really. You know, that's what we're working towards. And uh, that, that takes longer. So I, I don't feel that I'm there yet. I mean, um, you know, if it stopped now, I'd be perfectly happy with my life. It would be perfectly fine, you know. But um, I just feel that, um, you know, there is more room for improvement. Um, and then it comes down to a little bit, uh, I think, uh, so about you know uh, about desire and how much you want to do it you know life's busy gets in the way but um no it's a clear program i mean that's the thing before i would try this try that why is that not working where do i go from here you know why am i having a bad day here now i don't know it's the framework here so you, you know you're not bouncing around but you know it, it does take you a little while to work out which of the techniques that you talk about or the things is best best for you for, for each individual uh, because everyone's a bit different mm -hmm. um, but as we we're just saying um, I feel that I've come down to the sort of two or three things that work best for me that I enjoy doing and um, yeah. no it's a good program I mean, it, it, it's, it's not a torturous thing I mean you've been great <laughs> and stuff and um, just keep working away really so so let me ask you I, I was going to ask you what you're able to do now and I think you've already kind of you know clearly said you've clearly delineated some of the things that you're able to do now that mm -hmm. are easier for you now and that you're still working on some other things. So I won't ask you that question. I will ask you this one and one more. So this mm -hmm. question is, um, so someone can, can buy my self studies, right? You can buy mm -hmm. self study and work on your own, or they can, they can get the coaching in, mm -hmm. in one form or another. What, what advantage do you feel like the coaching has had over working on your own? Yeah, question. Uh, two things. I think, I mean, uh, you know, I am generally, you know, uh, highly self-motivated, but I must admit, if I didn't have a coaching and having you sort of every week or, or whatever to, to, to come back to, you know, it would take an, uh, a, an immense amount of, you know, uh, self-discipline and, and, and just to do it all, all by yourself. I'd say that because, you know, to keep, you know, like whenever he starts these things, they can get very excited at the start. And then it fades off after a little bit, like it's right. in the way. But having somebody every week or every two weeks when, when you know that you, you've got to be, you know, it's, it's almost a pride thing. You're wanting to almost sort of please the teacher in some ways and things. So, I mean, on, on the videos, everyone talked about the you know, accountability. I, I think that is it. That, and uh, that is certainly something... Um, which you know um, um, keeps you motivated, yeah. You know? And it, as I say, you have to be doing it every, every day or so. So that's one thing. And also, it's a bit of the it cuts out even further the sort of trial and error in the sense that even though you do give a clear, um, you know, sort of um, guidance on the techniques, your audios are very, you know, it, you know, it's all there. I mean, there's nothing more that you're sort of telling or you know, secret stuff when it's one to one, but Right. It's like anything. If you want to play golf or musician, I mean, everyone has has a teacher. Why do you do that? Because it cuts down the learning process big time, doesn't it? So you're not trying and erring. You're not getting disgruntled. You you have a bit of um, you know encouragement. You're going to need that as well. So you know, it, it took me a while to work out um, which sort of other things work for me. You know, some of the things you tell me, you know, I didn't really really want to hear. I mean, the key thing is about going slower and slower I mean you, you, you know that's something that I'll have to keep saying to myself and I've still not cracked it but you know those sorts of things you know you're, you're going to tell what, what 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 needs to be said really and um, otherwise you can easily just go along thinking you're doing pretty well thinking you're getting there but you're not really so yeah, yeah so that's why I do yeah so one of the things that I've seen with you is <laughs> you and I always talk about your speed and so forth. But the one thing that I see is that you have so much more control over it. So even though you can speak fast, you still have a lot more control now. You mm -hmm. feel a lot more confident, so therefore you're able to do a lot more. And, you know, slowing down your speech, if, if you've been speaking fast and other people around you, it's not an easy thing. And mm -hmm. like we said today, you know, how many people do you know who's changed the way they speak? Mm -hmm. 
most people either don't know anyone or they know very few people. It's like trying to change the way you walk. So you've done an excellent job. And, and of course, you still have some work to do, and so do I, right? But now you just have so much more control, and you can say what you want to say when you want to say it. And I think that's very, very important to be at that place now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So mm -hmm. last question I want to ask you is as people are watching this and all kinds of people are going to be watching this video from people who are again medical doctors the people who are engineers nurses whatever it's all kinds of different people uh, phd students phds and they're going to be asking especially about the coaching or really any of the programs from from the, the self-study up to my new ultimate smooth speech up to the private coaching is it Will it really work? Does it really work? Some people may look at you and say, oh, well, he wasn't a severe stutterer. And, and I have people who I have worked with who were severe and you weren't severe. Um, but there, there are people that I work with that the system works the same. It doesn't matter if you're severe or mild and no one can tell. It's the same system. Mm -hmm. But people are wondering, does it really work? Will it work? Will it work for them? And is it worth the money is it yeah. worth investing my time and effort so if they were to ask you does it really work and is it worth the time and money investment yeah. you so uh, what i would say to that is i mean i think there's already you know enough videos on your website there's enough sort of past interviews with people from all over the world you know uh, take mona with what was one of the initial ones i i saw a few guys from india males and females so there's enough people out there who are who have given a fairly similar story in the sense that, and in some ways perhaps they were you know so struggling in some ways more than I was, but that's not the issue. Like even if you stood such a tiny bit for you, that's a huge issue. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're a massive or little bit. It doesn't matter for you. You know, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. So everyone in some ways is the same. Okay, so I'd say that. Yeah. Um, I'd say look. I mean, I definitely think it's, it's been worth it. If I, you know, my goals that I wanted to achieve, it, it, it's, it's already tick, tick. You know, am I 100% fluent all the time? No. Um, does it matter? No. I mean, I'm able to do the things that I want to do. But again, it's, it's about becoming a you know, better speaker. And I think between now and where I could be, that's you know, down to me. It's how much I really want to, push this and do this okay so um so i certainly think it's been worth it because that time would have gone gone anyway i would have been in a worse position or certainly no better position than had i not done this in mm. terms of the cost of it i mean i was fortunate that i was in a position to you know to be to be able to afford it right now um having said that even you know yeah, you always think about cost and things, but it's an investment. And what's the, you know, you can spend it on a holiday, a car, whatever. But you know, if, if you want to do better, you want to have success, you've got to invest in yourself, be physically working out, whatever you know. So that wasn't an issue, and um, and yeah, again, that time's going to go anyway. I, I think if you're serious about this, if you you know, um, if you want to improve your speech, if you're prepared to do the work, you're prepared to listen, um, and, you know, set aside a good six months, eight months, just, you know, build it into your life. I mean, this coincided with a time in my period where I was extremely busy as well. You know, we talked about that. Um, but, and I think you've had, you mentioned about, you've had uh, clients, you know, uh, chief executives and really busy people. You know, people who've got, you know, you know, single parents, two children, they can do it. So it can be done. Um, but it's just about, you know, so following the guidance, practicing hard. And then I think if you do those two things, you'll be surprised as to how far you come, you know, for sure. So, yeah. 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 And then I just want to, you know, thank you, Michael, as well for, all, you know, because, you know, you've, you've done this yourself, you achieved it. And um, then taking the time to put this together for the people. So, 
you know, help, helping other people out there and things and, you know, it's changing lives. So, uh, you know, so, you know, I really appreciate what you've done and um, it's been good working with you. I mean, I always look forward to these seminars and, um, you know, you're always, on, you know, or, you know, was there and on, on Slack and, and all the other sort of systems if you if, if need to contact you. It's been great. So, um, you know, I, I, if you're thinking about it, if you got this far, I, you know, wouldn't hold back. I would just go for it. And um, there you go. Yeah. You know what? I'm not even going to add anything to that. I think you said everything. So I, I'm just going to say thank you so much for your words of wisdom, your encouragement, your insight. Um, again, I don't want to repeat, summarize anything you've said because it's just perfect. Thank, oh. you. Thank you so much, Dr. Vink. Pleasure. Thanks, Michael.